We sailed on to signs. The winds were light, but we made it by nightfall. I'm Nikki, and this is my gorgeous family. Chris, Bo, Bear, and our salty sea dog, <laughs> Come We're in. sailing around the world on pickle. An old catarang we bought and did up <laughs> after my major life-changing moment when I caught meningitis. Subscribe and enjoy the ride. Enjoy it, shall we? I've won as well. Oh my god. The wind transducer that we fitted in the Isles of Scilly wasn't really working properly. It could read zero knots even though we were still getting light winds and travelling at maybe three knots. The cups sometimes span normally and sometimes they completely stopped. So it was becoming a little bit of an issue. This continued to blight us through the entire season. Satisfying. It's crazy. Hi. What are we doing? Just raking. <laughs> no, what are we doing? Where have we just, where have we just got? Where are we? I don't actually know where. Sign. Sign. Or sign. Scene. Signs. <laughs> and we've just got anchored out there. We haven't put his ankle out on yet because we forgot. And we've just rushed off to go and walk the dog. And these are playing in the sand. Yeah, because they're <laughs> like numpties. <laughs> and just look. What about a part of peanut shell? We're playing. What do you think about this place, Mum? Is it better than the place before? It's not as busy. Yeah, I love it. It's not as busy. It's beautiful. It's not a red dot. Oh, what's that visually pretty. satisfying this is, Mum? I love it. It's okay. quiet, it's pretty. We haven't done any video for a few days, we've been a bit lazy, but today we're doing a nice day sail to, well, we've left signs or sins, I'm not quite sure how they pronounce it. Um, it was forecast quite a lot of wind today, there's a bit of a storm, a bit of a blow going on out there, we're just staying in a bit close to the coast so we catch a nice bit of strong wind but not too much hopefully. Um, we left a little bit late because it was blowing a bleeding gale this morning and we didn't want to be out in like the 30s or anything like that. So we left and then there was like no wind for a couple of hours, which was a bit strange. Um, so we had the engine on, which was really frustrating. And now we're happily sailing. We've got about 16 knots of wind. We're on like a beam reach. It's going at the back a little bit to a board reach, but it's comfortable. Seas have calmed down, they're not so big and rolly. There was big rolly waves on it quite so bad now so quite comfortable we're making good time doing about five or six knots and then big swell so yeah it's good we're just sailing off down past Cape um Vincetti is it Vincet Vincetti I'm quite sure you can tell what pronunciation aren't I someone will I'm sure will correct me but going around that cape I stood on that cape once when I was about My poppy, that's my granddad. My poppy and my dad, my children's granddad, poppy, again. 
and we stood on that cape and looked out over the ocean, took some pictures and stuff. I don't know if I really remember it properly. My dad was telling me about it the other day. So today, when I go past uh, Vicetti, Vicetti, is it? Okay. Um, I'm going to take some pictures and send them to my dad, which will be lovely. Anyway, we're heading around there. We're going towards Portimao and down towards Fora for... Faro, Faro! There we go. I'm going to go up there. Oh, I'll get there one day where I'm useless. And um, yeah, so we're going to stop in a little language thing tonight. I, I found this little language called NC. NC da. The. There, which I'm pretty sure the kids would love to explore. So I thought we'd do that and we'll explore them. And uh, we either can kiss out tomorrow morning and go down to Portimao or we could stop, have some dinner, explore the caves, take a look for a walk and sail through the night tonight. Depending on whether it's bloody crab pot alley again or not. Some parts of Portugal have got severe amounts of crab pots which you don't really want to be sailing through at night time particularly. I mean, I suppose it's okay if sailing, as long as you don't need to use your engine. But if you suddenly need to use your engine and you're in a load of crab pots, that's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? You've got a sail guy with a leg like us that goes down the water. But anyway, if we sail for the night tonight, um, that would mean it's about, it's around about 12 hours sail. So we, if we left at nine, we'd arrive at nine, which would be good, good timing, because I think low tide there is at tomorrow morning at 8.44 and that would mean I would arrive hopefully just after that so I would be on a rising flood rising tide so you want to be at the beginning of a rising flood because Farrow is a masses of big open water space like sand dunes and open water space so when you arrive when it's high water um, it just looks like one massive expanse of um, water and what you don't want to do is go anchoring where there's a big difference between the um, actual water depth and the sand that comes out of the water. We can dry out, obviously, because we're a catamaran, but sitting like that, going from, say, one metre to four metres, would be really uncomfortable and shitty, wouldn't it? So we don't really want to do that. So arriving on the early flood is great, because you can seal the sandbars, seal the banks everywhere, know where it's going to flood, know where the water's going to stay and get yourself anchored nice and comfy. So that'd be good. But I don't know if we're going there yet. We haven't, we haven't decided. We'll see what time we arrive at a little anchorage tonight. If we arrive and it's getting dark, then it's more of an issue because we've got a wooden dog and do dinner and kids want to see the little caves and we would like to set back off before the sun went completely down or at least before the light went completely. But I suppose if we followed that track out and there was no crab pots, we could do that. I don't know. Anyway. So we're sailing. Happily sailing. Dog's asleep. Bye bye. Both there on an iPad. She was doing some English earlier. Oh no. Yeah, English and then science. Bear was doing some English. That was Bear doing English. Bear's inside. He likes to sit inside, but it's very cold today. As you can see, I don't know why it's so cold. Sun's out. But we've all got coats on because it's so cold. And I've got my woolly hat on. It's got to be colder. But then it is autumn, isn't it now? We're in spring. September. Spring, where did that come from? September. So I suppose that's why I don't know. It's, yeah, it's pretty damn cold. And there's Happy. Mr. Happy over there. All right, Mr. Happy! We knew it was coming. We knew there's a low pressure out there today. Quite a big low pressure. It's been there for days. Haunting everybody that's trying to sail down the coast. So we come out knowing that we're going to skip down the edge of it, but we left a bit late. And now we've got a big low pressure coming and it's going to hit us in about next hour. It's about 35 plus knots, maybe. Not really very enthusiastic about that catching us up. But the, the sea's building already, can you see? So the swell's getting pretty big and uncomfortable already. We put the engine on because the wind's died off a bit, which it's died right down. 
Which, oh, it's weird, isn't it? You get the calm before the storm. So we put the engine on just to keep our speed up, just to try and outrun, outrun it, really. If we can um, get round Cape Vicente, is it? Before the strong winds hit, I would be a lot happier. So there we are, just sort of let you know. And you can tune in next time to see if we make it or not. Subscribe, like, watch us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube.